In this video, we'll see how to turn a hand drawing into a vector digital drawing using the free software Inkscape. The first thing you need to do is take a picture of your drawing and then bring it into Inkscape, just drag and drop. We'll go to the fill and stroke settings and turn the opacity down so it's a little bit more transparent. And we'll also go into the document properties and check this box, show page border, so that page border doesn't get in our way. Then we'll grab the Bezier Curve tool, also called the Paths tool sometimes, and we're going to create a path. So every time we left click, it'll create a node. And we're just going to outline uh, a part of our drawing that is continuous. You can either click to create a node or left click and hold to create a curved line between the previous node and the current node. So if you left click once, it creates a straight line. If you left click and hold, it creates a curve. I'm assuming you already have some experience using uh, this curve tool. Uh, but if not, something to definitely uh, learn about before maybe doing this, because it's the whole core. We're just going to go through and trace everything and create a path. So, And it's important that we do one path at a time. So anywhere where there's a white blank space, we're not going to do that. So see parts of this we're not doing like the eye, for example, or parts of the, the face that are being shaded. We're only doing this nose and forehead and the bottom part of the chin because that's all connected at one continuous line uh, or path. And when we're done, we'll click this last node. We can go to stroke and turn off the stroke and go to fill and turn on the fill to fill it with a solid color. And then we'll change this color later. We can keep it black for now. And I'll just speed up this process. We'll create a new path for each uh, continuous part of the image. So everything that's not, that has a blank, uh, that's separated by blank space. So any part of shading, um, the eye, the different parts of the mane here and different highlights on the face. Each one of these will become their own path, their own custom shape. We can always add more paths later, and we can always come in and edit these paths and these nodes. We can edit the curve. We can add more nodes or delete nodes. Um, once we have it to about this point, we'll click on the image, and we can just drag it out, or we can left-click on it and hit the Delete key. And so we can see we have just a very rough uh, outline of the image right now. And we can draw a circle to put around it to kind of highlight it and have some color behind it. Um, right now it's on top. So we can change the color and then we can lower it down to the to our lower level so that the image shines through. Now all these paths are separate, so we'll select them all and go to Path Union. And this will create a unified path so it's all one single path. We can move it around together. We'll duplicate the circle to create a border on the outside of here. And this creates sort of like a token or like a patch look. Uh, you can, of course, create any look that you want, but it's good to have your design on a background depending on what you're wanting to do with it. As I mentioned before, we can move these nodes individually or we can select multiple nodes to move and adjust them. We can um, delete nodes by just selecting that node and hitting the delete key. We can add nodes by double clicking in the path. And we can also curve each of these lines. We can use these handles to create a more curved part of the path. And we can just click directly on the line in between where the handles are uh, to bend just that uh, part of the path as well. So go through and just look and see what parts need to be adjusted. Inkscape is such a great versatile program. You could use this to create obviously like a logo or an icon, something for digital use um, on a computer or a website. But you can also use a design like this to do something like uh, embroidery. So like embroidery work on fabric, like stitching. You could use this on a vinyl cutter to cut out this vinyl and place it on a glass window or like on your vehicle. You could just create a sticker. You could potentially maybe create a coin out of this, like a circular coin or a token. So you can do so many things. You can cut this on a laser cutter or an etcher. You can use the, because because it's a path, you can scale this up or down and you can feed these coordinates into all kinds of different computer controlled machines that can create real world um, work out of this. And of course you can always just print it too. You can do screen printing or t-shirt printing or put this design on a mug or a billboard or whatever you want. So uh, it's just a great cool program for, for doing artwork like this. I'm speeding up the video here. We're going to go through and do different parts, different highlights. And this, you can look at your reference drawing or you can just add in without. We could bring the drawing back in and overlay it with opacity if we wanted to, uh, to kind of add in some of these different highlights. But you'll do some different adjustments like here in the ear. We'll do some adjustments and then add in, you know, that highlight in the ear. 
Well, I hope this video has helped you see the value of using this paths tool in Inkscape. Really, all we've done is use the paths and different solid colors to create this uh, artwork. And so you can either do this using a photograph or using a hand-drawn image like we did, uh, or just creating something from scratch on a blank canvas. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.